Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So first off, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my Patreon supporters, Ben. Thanks for your support. I do apologize for the late uh, notice. I just finished a live stream, so if you haven't, uh, you know, caught it yet, uh, make sure you check it out. Um, I do usually run my uh, Red and Green Keys uh, usually every Saturday night local time, and so if you haven't got a chance to drop by. Anyways, if you check your notices, we do have a new notice, which is actually very surprising. Update 2.7.5. This is a big one, guys. This is the Song of Sword and Wings of Lost Paradise Chapter 8. Um, obviously, you can see in the picture right there, uh, that is our... Um, beloved Melina. However, she is a lot different than before. She is extra style Melina. And so if you want to read a little bit about chapter 8, they give you a little bit of preview there. You can see that it does start in Atlantica and Milsha will be uh, obviously featured in the storyline. You do have to finish chapter 7 of the uh, you know, Mythos side quest already as well as that uh, blue light colored um, side quest as part of the um, mythos. Now there is a new banner of course, Molina ES. And so my understanding is that Molina ES should be similar to kind of AS banners where you should have a 0.8% chance of the normal style form and then a 0.8% chance of the ES form. Obviously 0.4% chance of the 4.5% version of the regular one as well. I don't believe that AS Molina will be boosted. However, when the update drops tomorrow, then I will know a little bit more information about that. Now, for those who aren't aware, Melina is our first extra style unit in global. There are only two extra style or ES units so far in Japan, uh, ES Melina as well as ES Tsukiya, and both are extremely powerful and borderline broken. Now, in case of uh, e ES Melina, uh, she is now a extra style, essentially is the ES, and they are completely different from their regular forms or another style. So um, they carry a different weapon type, they are a different element as well. So ES Melina now becomes a Lightning Lunatic unit. And so for Lightning Lunatic, what that means is when you activate Lunatic, Lunatic lasts for three turns, just like Samosha Victor, for example, or Skull. Um, it, every attack, it adds an extra small uh, Thunder type attack. And so basically it allows you to hit more times, uh, potentially boosting your AF um, combo meter during AF a lot more. Now, she has a lot of different abilities. A lot of them are healing and protecting, but her DPS is also through the roof. One other thing to note is that ES characters have almost like their own separate AF bar. And when you've done enough moves um, prior to the, um, you know, charging up the ES, I guess the AF mini bar, she can do a kind of a super move at the end, which does hundreds of millions of damage and can do some special cool moves as well. Um, I don't have any, um, you know, ES units obviously, and I haven't played the Japanese version, but make sure you check out some other YouTube videos if you want to see the potential of ES Melina. So some of her moves, restore all main and reserve party members plus 1000 HP and boost, uh, or sorry, up to 2000 HP. Actually, sorry, not even 3,000 HP at the top level for a five star ES. So yeah, uh, 3,000 HP, uh, power of all main and reserve party members plus 30. So that essentially means instead of having to just bo boost or buff your units up front, it also boosts and heals your units in the back, which is crazy. Also, in any stance, speed of all main and reserve party members is 30%. So part power and speed and full heal essentially with 3,000 HP. And keep in mind, when she's in Lunatic, add an extra 10%, so 40-40. That is a very extremely powerful boost. 40 speed, 40 power. That will help you do a lot more damage, obviously maintain your AF bar more as well. She has some other um, minor moves as well. She still has Stifling Song, of course, as well. And uh, in the case of Lunatic, increase the effect of her Stifling Song, which in this case is um, debuffing. Uh, physical resistance 20% down, Water and Thunder type resistance 20%. So different than her regular um, Stifling Song. And her uh, spam move is essentially a Thunder type Blunt move, uh, three times XL, type resistance down 30%, which is stackable three times. So that's a total of 60%. And again, as she stacks more orbs on herself, she'll do more damage and so on and so forth. And increases, uh, being that lightning units increase uh, combo um, charge similar to Victor, she will also be able to do that. Um, yeah, 
broken, broken, broken. And I will have to, uh, you know, hopefully for those who do summon or get her, then you'll be able to see the uh, power of ES Molina. Okay, so of course the update includes chapter 8. And then it's also going to include another dungeon, which you can grind other uh, weapons and gear, as well as more shadow for Clart. Now, one other major feature that's been dropped is called Revival Duel with the Past. And so this is an, essentially the uh, long-awaited boss rush. And so we will be able to challenge uh, in a battle simulator at uh, Sebastia's in, I guess, uh, the future. And... Obviously, you have to update to 2.7.5, and you basically have to challenge multi-stages. It's kind of a uh, keys-based, so one bold pulse or one key, essentially, every uh, six hours, similar to other keys. It does restore one at a time, four times a day. Uh, all content is permanent, so there's no time limit, which is great. You can see that there's a faithful encounter. Um, there is um, a special faithful encounter as well, and so you can see that on the 10th, ally encounter you will see one of these guaranteed five stars so um, i will talk about more of this when um, tomorrow drops and i'll do the should you summons as usual but you can see there's a lot of uh, units from the mythos side quests uh, that are available of course molina molina another style molina es rosetta and rosetta es a lot of extremely powerful units the lily uh, misty of course and even milsha and uh, for those who are waiting uh, we weren't sure if we are going to get these um, Blunt Attack, Weapon Attack series um, for Japan. Remember that a few months ago, we did get the watered down global version. And the reason I say watered down is not that the devs were trying to rip us off. It's that we didn't have all those units released and so they couldn't basically put them in an upgraded banner. Keep in mind, these four banners all have five featured five stars. Each of them will now be upgraded. You can see 1% encounter rate for a total of 5%. For, the, for normal banners that are not upgraded, it's about 3.6%. So this will be 50% 50 50 more 5-star rate than other ones. However, the downside is 5-stars for other units are not available. So you only get a chance of each of these. And so again, I'll break it down. Um, but there's a lot of awesome units available here. Rosetta AS, Dun look, at, look at the magic ones, for example. Rosetta AS, Daenerys AS, Ford, uh, you know, Radica AS, all powerful units, Pierce the same, Slash, and Blood. So really looking forward to those banners dropping tomorrow. I'm sure a lot of you were hoping that that would drop to increase your chances of adding a lot of units to your roster. As usual, there is a 2,000 and 4,000 Chronostone package for those who want to spend stones on the game. Um, looks like there's a lot of uh, powerful banners to spend those stones, of course. And if you do start the uh, Chapter 8 early enough, and you do get 40 extra stones instead of 10, you get 50, and you have up to um, June 17th their time, which is what, 10 days or so? Finally, note that if you were grinding increased points, you will have to reduce them back to normal. It'll be a little bit harder. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you're planning to summon on one or more of these banners. There is a lot of content to cover. Chapter 8, of course, is a extremely long chapter. There's the boss rush. There's four upgraded uh, banners. There's a couple Fatefuls and ES Molina regular as well. Uh, for myself, at first glance, I'm definitely not summoning on uh, ES Molina. I do have to uh, grind out the Testaments or whatever the new books will be uh, to upgrade her to an ES style. In terms of the other ones, I think I have the vast majority of the units in some form. And so I'm not sure if uh, that will add as much value to me. However, I will review those and see if I have any targets, in which case I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Anyways, looking very much forward to it. If I have a chance, I will live stream uh, chapter 8. If I don't, you'll see an upload tomorrow night anyways. And finally, uh, if you scroll to the bottom of the notices, you will notice that there is an area called a user survey request. And there is an entry form and highlighted in a blue there. Uh, if you do fill it out, you do get credited with 30 Chronos stones. Now, I haven't filled it out yet, but my sons have filled out ahead of time, and they do say that there's an area where you can mention uh, YouTubers that you watch that do play the game or promote the game. And so uh, if you feel um, that uh, you would like to, please put my channel or my name in there, and I would really appreciate anyone who um, kind of promotes me in this way. Uh, the reason why I'm asking is that if this is the case, hopefully I'll have um, you know uh, more reach 
and eventually more uh, either uh, ability to work with the devs or maybe just um, you know have some kind of insight or some insider information which I can share with you guys in the future. So uh, thanks in advance for all who uh, you know choose to uh, promote my name in that way uh, to the devs uh, in this case. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.